Well, welcome back to MC Motorsports here. Uh, today's project, the boy gave me a heads up that by tomorrow, he has to work. Well, try to come up with something that's steam engine. Yeah, he gave me a lot of time with it, Hammy. <laughs> So right here we got an old compressor. I can't remember the name of it offhand. I'll tell you in a minute. This old little air compressor that I've had laying around probably you know, a couple years at least. I don't know how long. Since I've been here, I can tell you that much. Don't mind that the barn is a mess. I haven't got through to clean anything up yet right now. Murphy's Law, he got this a couple days ago. Tells me about it today. Shows me another YouTube video with some Yahoo. Switch sides here, dude. With some Yahoo that, quote, steam engine, but it really wasn't a steam engine. It was electrical motor powered. Because to actually do a steam engine is not quick simple or easy and I really don't have all the tools here you know some shop lays and everything else to be able to do one so we're going to try to improvise the motor should be free dude that cool motor We're going to improvise here and see if we can come up with something. What did I say? It's about three and seven sixteenths. Yeah, just about. No. And all we got to do is the canister for your, put your water in and make your steam and then, and then it'll do its thing. So we got to put a hole in this. I always end it. I never, I'm horrible with pausing it. Here, hold that dude. Yeah, so the, the boy's getting a crash course here. I'm trying to rig something up to make something work. I have no clue if this works. Because I know steam engines are sized a certain way and everything else. But we're going to wing it here. Yeah, what's that? I don't want to go too big. You go too big and it just poof. Because we're actually going to lose. Well, it'll hold compression on the bottom side of the cylinder stroke because of the ring. And I'm choosing. I don't know if that's good or not. Is that a good spot, dude? I can't see it. Can you see me? Yeah. Okay. Chose this old compressor number one. I have it sitting around. I ain't using it for anything. It's been laying around for probably five, six years. And number two, we use it because they have a good piston ring inside. They seal compression. They hold compression. How much compression? I don't know. If we can get it to work with the steam engine, I don't know. But hey, we're going to give it a shot. And see that lifted up, it's always a good idea. Hold these things down. One of these years I will. Sometimes I do. Kind of what I'm working on. That should be our relief too. That's a beautiful clean rag. That's awesome. Where did that go? There it is. Eighty-seven thousand projects. One of these years, I'll get time. Now I'm standing out here. I got my flannel on. This goofball's out here in moccasins and shorts. Yep. Ham. See? I've got the brass pushing. Mm -hmm. That actually might be bronze. That kind of looks like bronze. See that groove in it? Yep. It's actually an oil ring. 
you just picked up oil, you fill it up, you pick up oil, and you keep it dry and ride that way on a film of oil. Well, I'm doing this and you're not. Good project. Get over here. Follow on, dude. Well, as you can see from mine and the boys experiment here, this is what we came up with. Uh, here's the chamber and recorded a bunch of this without any sound. So I'll probably clip it in there and you'll see us racing up the road. I'll clip it in there so you'll see us testing it out, but I'm almost positive that there's no sound behind it. But anyway, this is what we came up with here. Piece of aluminum here, a quarter inch. Uh, we drilled it as a block all plate because this was the vent, because this was originally an air compressor. And he gave me a whole, I don't know, a one night's notice that he needed this for school. And we went to town trying to make something work with what I have available in the barn here. I had my doubts on if it would work because to make a good steam engine, the cylinder's got to be sealed really good. And I mean, this was sealed. It's sealed enough for a compressor, but it's not sealed enough for a steam engine. But I figured I'd give it a shot. Ever well, we'll put it together and test it. He can take it to school, works or not. Because he told me, he said, at least it didn't have to work. He said they just had to try. So, okay, cool. You know, so I, I mean, I was trying to get it to work, but I had my doubts because it's horizontal chamber here, vertical head, which I think that's kind of playing into it here. I'm not 100% sure, but pretty sure it is. And maybe enough, not enough flywheel weight. It's not sealed enough inside the bore either. We gave it a shot, and this is what this was an old Brink, no, Binks quarter horsepower type C quarter E serial number 7109 Binks Manufacturing Company, Chicago. I haven't done any research on it, so I really can't tell you the history of it. I just know it was given to me. I just like old stuff. That's kind of why I left it laying around. Just because it's, you know, old technology fascinates me. But I mean, you could see what all we did in the video. Because, I mean, the concept was there. The concept, you know, to vapor, steam vapors, push the cylinder up. And then once the seal would pass right here, it would bleed off to let it come back down inside the bore and repeat the cycle. But hey, we didn't have luck with it. Can't all be winners. Uh, worse comes worse. I'm sure it could probably still be turned into a compressor because 
I could fill that hole in. I could probably tap it, put a little screw or something in it, and kind of where that's up inside the cylinder there. I don't think it would affect it a whole lot. Everybody's out today. And I do have the airline, the original airline for it. And I have the original electric motor that was on it, which, let me show you that. I think you'll get a kick out of it. Here's the original electric motor that was on it. Cord out of the way here. What's neat with this, which I'm sure some of you have watched my videos or other videos, this actually has, I'm sure if you try to see it here, get my fat fingers out of the way, there's caps on either end, you see the one down here, and this one right here, so you oil it daily or weekly, whatever this one called for, old school. See if I can read any information off of this. I don't know what off. This is Leland Motor. The Leland Electric Company. Leland, Dayton, Ohio. I don't think I've ever heard of Leland. I'm going to have to look that one up. It is quarter horsepower, 110 volt, 4.6 amp, single phase, uh, 1725 RPM, which is pretty common nowadays anyway. But, hmm, Leland Motor. Check out that label. Yeah, see if you can see that label in there. Ugh. Right there. Leland Motor. Leland Electric Motor. I think I might have tossed the belt the other day. Can't quite remember. I was cleaning up in the back. But regardless, first comes to worst, I could finagle this because I have the cover plate for the vent and everything else back there. I could convert this back over to a regular compressor if need be. I like was trying not to destroy it if I didn't have to. Hopefully you've enjoyed it here. I'll let that truck go by. Man, everyone with their diesels. But anyway. Man, more traffic. It's the Indy 500 today. But anyway. Hey, I hope you've enjoyed video something different off of the vehicles and stuff just because you never know what kind of crazy craziness i'm into there and this one happened to be with the boy here trying to make something for school didn't quite work we gave it a shot we didn't think it would work but we were hopeful about it at least and hey as always thanks for watching i appreciate it and give a thumbs up if you liked it give a subscribe if you want to see some more because I'm always into something. So see you in the next one.